Hello, aviation enthusiasts. Welcome back to Aero Online, your hub for the latest aviation stories. This week, we're taking off with updates on new routes, cutting edge technology, and dramatic in-flight incidents. Let's dive in. Airbus engineers in Bristol are developing an innovative albatross wing to reduce carbon emissions. The longer, narrower wing features a folding mechanism that extends mid-air for better fuel efficiency and folds vertically upon landing to fit airport stands. Made from lightweight carbon fiber, the design targets next-generation short-haul aircraft and promises double-digit fuel savings. A technical fault in air traffic control at Edinburgh Airport caused significant disruptions, leading to over 26 flight cancellations and widespread delays starting at 15 o'clock. Airlines including EasyJet, Aer Lingus, Ryanair, British Airways, and KLM were affected, impacting flights to London, Dublin, Amsterdam, and other destinations. Engineers are working to resolve the issue, but the duration of the disruptions is uncertain. Mysterious drone sightings across New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania since mid-November have baffled residents and authorities. Reports and videos, particularly from North Jersey, have sparked speculation about military projects or foreign activity. Despite ongoing investigations involving the FBI and Homeland Security, the drone's origins and purposes remain unknown. A Lockheed Martin company, Sikorsky, is set to demonstrate its flight autonomy technology to the U.S. Army. This initiative aims to showcase advancements in autonomous flight systems, potentially contributing to future unmanned and optionally piloted aircraft operations for military applications. The Slovak Ministry of Defense has indicated the Embraer C-390 Millennium as the preferred option for future military transport aircraft. A letter of intent has been signed with the Brazilian Ministry of Defense, paving the way for a potential acquisition to enhance Slovakia's airlift capabilities. Joby Aviation, a leader in electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft, concluded a week of flight tests in Korea on December 17, 2024. Conducted with Korea's Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transport, MOLIT, and the Korea Airports Corporation, the tests showcased the aircraft's efficiency, safety, and minimal noise levels. This milestone supports Korea's ambition to adopt urban air mobility, UAM, technologies by the late 2020s. Joby's EVTOL aircraft, offering zero-emission travel at speeds up to 200 miles per hour with a 150-mile range, aims to address urban congestion and reduce environmental impact. These successful demonstrations strengthen Joby's presence in the Asian market and align with Korea's vision for smart, sustainable cities. Boeing is expanding its Charleston, South Carolina, facilities to support increased production of the 787 Dreamliner, creating 500 new jobs. This move aims to enhance efficiency, address supply chain challenges, and integrate sustainable practices. The expansion reflects Boeing's confidence in aviation's recovery, driven by growing demand for fuel-efficient aircraft, while boosting Charleston's economy and solidifying its role as a key aerospace hub. On December 7, 2024, an American Airlines Boeing 737 to 800 experienced in-flight flooding due to a suspected water system issue. The crew managed the situation, ensuring safety, and the flight landed in Minneapolis without injuries. American Airlines is investigating, emphasizing safety and maintenance to address concerns raised by the incident. Spirit Airlines received court approval to sell 23 Airbus A320 and A321 aircraft for $519 million to enhance financial stability and reduce maintenance costs. The sale is part of a fleet modernization strategy focusing on fuel-efficient A320 Neojets. Proceeds will support operations and fleet optimization as Spirit addresses challenges from the pandemic and economic uncertainties. This move strengthens Spirit's position as a leading ultra-low-cost carrier in a competitive market. Boeing has resumed production of its 767 and 777 aircraft at its Everett, Washington facility after a machinist's strike disrupted operations. Assembly lines restarted on December 18, 2024, as Boeing prioritized updated training and certifications for workers. 
The 767 and 777 models remain vital for cargo and long-haul operations. This presumption signals Boeing's commitment to recovering from disruptions, fulfilling backlogs, and strengthening its position in a competitive market. The FAA has imposed a 30-day ban on drone flights over 22 critical infrastructure sites in New Jersey, including Jersey City, Camden, and Elizabeth, citing security concerns. Similar restrictions are planned for New York facilities. The ban, targeting recreational and commercial operators, follows increased drone activity near sensitive locations. Violators face fines and prosecution. This highlights the need for stricter drone regulations as the technology's use becomes more widespread. On December 19, 2024, a Norwegian Air Shuttle Boeing 737-86N overran the runway while landing at Mold Airport, Moel, in challenging weather conditions. All 171 passengers and crew evacuated safely using emergency slides, with no injuries reported. The incident, attributed to wet and slippery runway conditions, is under investigation, highlighting the importance of safety protocols and emergency preparedness. Airport operations were temporarily suspended to address the situation. China plans to build the $5 billion Dalian Jinzhou on International Airport, the world's largest artificial island airport by 2035. Spanning 20 square kilometers with four runways, it will replace the existing Dalian Airport boosting capacity to 80 million passengers annually. While promoting regional connectivity and economic growth, the project faces criticism over environmental impacts from extensive land reclamation in Jinzhou Bay. Nearly 11 years after Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 vanished, Malaysia approved Ocean Infinity's proposal to resume the search in early 2025. Using advanced underwater drones, the mission will explore a 15,000 square kilometer area in the Indian Ocean under a no-find, no-fee agreement. The search aims to solve aviation's greatest mystery, bring closure to families, and advance aviation safety through improved underwater technology and precise mapping capabilities. That wraps up this week on Aero Online. What story stood out the most to you? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more aviation updates. Until next time, clear skies and safe travels.